Hiya, I thought I would just give you an update on my seventh weighing at Weight Watchers. I lost another pound and a half, which I was really pleased about. It's now 14 and a half pounds, which is one stone and half a pound, which I'm really pleased because it's like one of the milestones you want to get over. So yeah, we're very happy and I also got a little certificate and a little fridge magnet, which, well, that was just a nice little treat, surprise, whatever. So yeah, that was great. Um, it also debunked my theory on eating fruit and why it should be pointed because I lost a pound and a half which since after my first week at Weight Watchers that has been my consistent weight loss. It's either been a pound and a half and once I lost two pounds. So I think carry on doing what I was doing before, three portions and no more of fruit and uh, yeah I'd rather have a consistent weight loss with some sweet treats. Because that's the one thing I still am craving, sweet treats. I really do like cake and chocolate and all them naughty things. And at the moment, I'm quite disciplined that I'm not having them. And I'm alright with that. Oh, I am having them. I'm having them after weighing. If I've got them 42 points, I literally blow them all on anything that I can have. So, and I've not exercised, so I'm really quite pleased with the consistent weight loss that I'm having. Um, I've got an Achilles tendinopathy in my ankle so I'm, I'm not wanting to push that and make it worse but as a consequence I'm starting to get tight coughs and it feels like I've got cramp pretty much an awful lot um, and my pants are starting to feel a little bit looser which it's about time but that's, that's like a really big deal when you start feeling things in your clothes it's great I was hoping to buy um, a size smaller pair of jeans. I'm going away in October and I, I, it's not worth getting a 16 just in case because if I do eat and overindulge then I'm only going to be back into a size 18 but size 18, a nice new pair of jeans for going away and well yeah it's, it is what it is and I'm happy to be where I am at this moment in time. Um, and also just something coincidental that I've noticed is since I joined Weight Watchers I've had chapped lips and they're getting to the point now that they're so sore but I don't think it's Weight Watchers fault because I've never had any side effects ever in all the times that I've joined Weight Watchers but it's so coincidental because I never really get chapped li lips in August in fact it's very rare I ever get chapped lips till after New Year um, but oh, they're so sore I'm, it's the, the stuff that I'm putting on it's not lasting very long and I have that Blistex intensive care and it's just oh. so it's so coincidental but it was just one of them things I don't know if anybody's ever had a, something that has happened just as they joined Weight Watchers that is so random you know some people go oh I go to the toilet a lot or I've noticed my skin being clear or I've noticed this but <laughs> never chap lips that just seems so random but I thought I'd just throw that in there but anyway, um, I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. Um, give a thumbs up if you like. And please subscribe and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.